Hi there, welcome back to Glaze Virtual Summer Camp. Today's project for the tween age group is our pop art banana canvas. I'm your teacher, Miss Laura. Let's see what comes in your kit. You're gonna find your doodle challenge worksheet, acrylic paints, as well as glue, some foam scraps, foam brush, paint brushes, tape, pencil, scissors, black and white paper, and a blank canvas. Now, first, let's get into the doodle challenge. This is a silly one. Today's doodle challenge is called the Silly Fruit Challenge. In this challenge, we ask you to get silly by drawing fruits as everyday objects. Let's start with our first one. Draw a banana as a boat. Continue having fun with your other three squares and get super silly with this fun challenge. Great job! Now let's move on to our project of the day, Pop Art Banana Canvas. Who knows what pop art refers to? Pop art is a style of art that emerged in the 1950s and it's based on simple, bold images of everyday items. For example, soup cans painted in bright colors. You might have seen Andy Warhol's painting. So we're going to take that same concept by using an everyday item such as a banana and redrawing it on four blocks of our canvas with bright colored backgrounds for each square. Let's start by taping off the four squares of our canvas. So now you're going to take out your tape, your canvas, and a ruler. And I'm going to measure, this is a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas, so I'm going to just measure along and mark six inch mark on two sides and we're going to use that as a guide to help get our tape even. Check on that side. That's good. Press down really well. Really make sure that tape is down good. Now that you've got your tape laid down, we're going to paint each square a different bold color. Uh, we have our acrylic paints here. Before you begin painting, make sure that you cover the surface of the area that you're painting on with maybe plastic or paper uh, to avoid staining your table. Also make sure you put on some clothes that you're not afraid to get stained. We're using paints that will stain fabric. I also grabbed a paper plate in case I want to mix my own color. We're going to take out our sponge. Now I'm going to start with blue. We're just going to get a really good coating on our first square. Might have to go back and do a second coat of paint. Don't forget to do the edges of the canvas so if you hang it up on the wall you won't see these white edges. Make sure to stay inside the lines of your tape so you don't go into the next square. Now you're going to really give this sponge a good clean. While your first coat of the blue is drying, we're going to move on to the next square and I'm going to use red. Make sure to clean your brush and dry it really well and repeat the same steps for your last two squares. Looking at my two colors here before I move on, I feel like they're a little too bold side by side. So I'm going to go in and change this red to pink just by adding in some white. It's totally okay to change your mind halfway through. I do it all the time.
So while we're waiting for our painting to dry, we're going to take out our large white paper and we're going to sketch out four bananas. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way how to sketch a banana. Keep in mind the size you want is to fit inside the squares of your painting so you don't want to go too large, okay? I'm going to start by creating a U shape. Curving around and meet up that curved shape. All right, curve it in a little and draw your stem. Add a couple extra lines for detail, and you've got a banana. Play around with it till you get the shape exactly how you want it, and add in some shading and details. And repeat that by drawing three more. Once you have your bananas sketched out on your paper, you're going to paint them. Now remember, our canvas is already painted here with four colors. The banana that you're going to put on top is going to be in a totally different, bright, bold color. Because that's what pop art is all about. So I'm going to start with, I think, mixing a purple. I think would look really cool against one of these colors. So we're going to begin with some blue. Mix in some red. And see, I think I'm gonna add a little more red and maybe some white. I think that will be a cool color. Now I'm just painting the general shape of my banana because I'm going to go back in on top and add in details with black. When you're painting your bananas, don't worry about being perfect because we're going to cut them out so we'll be able to cut the edges nice and straight. So it's okay if you go outside the lines. Give them a little bit of time to dry and now we're going to go in and add our details using black. We're going to begin by outlining the whole banana. Leave some breaks in between your outline. Just like that. And then add a little bit of a square on the tip there. Gonna add some lines again, leaving some breaks. And then And continue that for all of your bananas. Now the fun part about these bananas is the imperfections of them. So notice how I didn't go directly on the outline. I went over it and sometimes outside of it. Drawing a lot of dashes, leaving space inside so that it gives it a more organic and printed look. Now we're going to give those time to dry. Once they're dry, we're going to cut out each banana with your scissors.
Welcome back. Now that your bananas have dried, I'd like to take a minute to kind of place them on my different colored squares and see how I like them. How I like the colors to match. I think I like them like this. All right. So next what we're going to do is take your banana and you're going to put some glue on the back of it. Make sure you don't forget the stem. And you're going to glue it to the black paper leaving room. So that we can cut around the edges. And do that with all four of your bananas. Once you've got your bananas glued down, you're going to cut around them, leaving a little bit of that black showing. So they look like this. While you're waiting for the glue to dry on the bananas, you can peel the tape off of your canvas. You're going to start with one edge, peel it right off, just like that, going in both directions. Voila, now you've got your four squares. Next, we're going to glue our bananas onto our squares. But first, we're going to glue some foam onto the back so they stand off of the canvas, kind of like a 3D effect. You've got a bunch of scraps that we're going to give you, so you can cut them in as uh, many shapes as you'd like. Basically, you're just going to take some glue and stick them on in a few different spots so that you'll have good structure. Once you have your foam glued onto your banana, you're going to place some more glue onto the other side of your foam. You're going to glue it right onto your square. Repeat that for all four bananas. There you go, there's your finished project. I hope you guys enjoyed this class. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Turn on those notifications so you can see what we got going on in the future.